Hello, welcome back to Body and Brain, Tai Chi and Qigong practice. I'm David, and today we're going to do the horse riding stance. So you can get started with some easy Tai Chi breathing. Just let the hands rise up as you inhale, drop down as you exhale. Start to feel your hands, feel your posture, your spine, all the way down to your feet. This horse riding stance is really good for leg strength, alignment, and energy. So the basic stance, feet are wider than the shoulders, you want to bend your knees and turn the toes out slightly, maybe 20 degrees, 30 degrees, not too far. But that makes it a little easier for your knees to track outward when you bend. Now you can see I'm leaning forward and backwards to get the sense of where the center point is for my body weight and the feet. This is really important. If you tend to lean forward on your feet, it tenses up maybe the front side of the body. If you tend to lean backwards, it'll make your back tense to try to catch you. When you feel the center point, it's much easier. When you find that, sink in, tuck your tailbone, and you can raise the arms up into a basic horse riding stance with the palms facing forward. Couple tips about that, shoulders should stay relaxed. Elbows and wrists are bent slightly to make a little bit of a circle with your arms. And just stay there and breathe. Now as you get started, you might notice some tight spots or the legs might feel very stiff and heavy. That's okay, we're just going to wake them up. You want to actively breathe, you want to feel where they need a little bit more energy. And just bring your mind to the lower body. It's a very important thing and a very powerful part of this horse riding stance. Alright, take a break, the hands come down, straighten your legs, relax. Let's do it again. Sink in. Give a little stretch side to side for your hips, knees and feet. You can see I'm really working to keep the spine straight. And as your arms come up, I want you to focus on something interesting. Your shoulders should stay relaxed. The strength to lift your arms comes from your abdomen, your core muscles, including your hips and back. So when your arms come up, you should feel some pressure in your lower abdomen rather than up in your shoulders. You may even feel a heat, a sense of energy in the core. That's one of the benefits of this horse riding stance. Now your legs should be working, but by making this posture correctly, you should be able to feel that the big muscles can relax. All right, take a break. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's relax for a moment with the feet together. And just feel where the muscles woke up, where the energy is flowing now. All right, let's activate those muscles a little bit more precisely. Lifting the heels, feel your toes, feel your feet. Hands on the knees, let's do some knee circles. Warm up those knees smoothly, keep the feet planted. You don't have to do big motions. And some hip circles. So as you keep repeating the horse riding stance, you'll feel that certain parts of the body, like the hips, the lower back, are waking up, getting more energy. And you could work on increasing your range of motion a little. All right, back into the horse riding stance as the kayakers head for home behind me. Sink down. You can see I'm straightening that spine again. Let the arms come up, make the circle. You can imagine energy flowing out one arm, across from the fingers of one hand to the other and back into the chest. Just like before, shoulders are relaxed. The strength comes from the abdomen, the hips, the core, the lower back. That's where the energy is gathering. If you're feeling good, you can sink in a little bit deeper. Focus on your breathing. You're energizing that core area. Feeling centered, not too far forward, not too far backward. Left side, right side. Trying to feel a balance. And your sense of energy straight through the center, all the way to the top of your head, your seventh chakra. Hands and feet are active and energized. 
breathe. You want to keep some tension on the outside of the legs, pulling the knees apart rather than letting them drop in. It's one of the key points of the horse riding stance. Uh, do your best to hang in there and take a break. Let the hands come down, legs straighten out. Great job. Now, I think your energy is flowing, so comfortably bend the knees, drop the hips a little. Let your arms rise and fall with each breath. You probably want to move a little bit more. A couple key points with this one. You don't have to stand up and then sink down each time you breathe. Just let the arms float. Keep that strength in the core. You can see the wrists bend, fingers down as the arms rise up. The wrists flex, the palms open and stretch as the arms drop. So you can feel the energy, almost like you're moving through water. Feel pressure, magnetic feelings. Keeping the chest open, letting energy flow. Your lower body is still working, so you have to be patient with that. Gather your energy. Very good. Now, keeping the body centered, legs stay where they are. Just twist from the waist. I'm twisting to my right. Why don't you do the mirror image? Twist 45 degrees to your left. Let those hands rise up, arms up and down with each breath. And then the other side, I'm twisting to my left. You go to the right, 45 degrees, arms rise and fall, flowing. Feel the strength in your core. A little different angle. Back to the middle. And bring the feet together. Relax. Little circulation movement. Sushik. Cool energy up. Warm, active energy settling into the core of the body. Nice and easy. So even if the muscles get a little tired, this is really good for gathering strength and keep checking in. Do some more hip circles. Draw a circle with the tailbone. See if you're feeling a little bit more energy, a little more mobility in the hips. Hip joint mobility is very good, very important for your knees. It's good for your back, good for your energy. All right, one more time. We're settling into the horse riding stance. Knees pulling apart slightly as the feet are planted, so you have that bow-legged posture. And you can see the hands are in front of the lower abdomen, the Danjan energy center. We're going to do a little breathing. So sink in as deeply as you can while keeping the spine upright, shoulders relaxed, hands in front of the abdomen. The hands are there to help you focus on the feeling of energy in your core. Elbows slightly away from the body. And just a couple breaths, feeling vitality and energy in your lower abdomen, some pressure there. Legs are still working, but you don't want to be tense. Now, raise the hands to your solar plexus, your third chakra level. Focus on the feeling as you breathe in your upper abdomen. Spine is still straight, takes a little bit more power to hold the arms higher. So your core should be slightly more active, slightly more pressurized. And then one more time, raise the hands to your chest level. This requires more energy in the core and also can help you feel some circulation, some sense of the heart chakra, chest area. And just enjoy. When energy circulates, you'll feel that using the muscles feels good. It's not just a heavy weight on your body. Now, if you're ready for that challenge, arms over the head, palms towards the sky, 
activating the whole body, all the meridians opening. Feel energy through your hands and feet. Breathe. Don't tense up. Keep your awareness in the core. Great job. Slowly drop the arms, bring your feet together and enjoy a couple easy Tai Chi breaths. Feel energy flowing. Feel the tension release. Now might be a great time for some gentle stretching or if you're outside, enjoy the nature, go for a walk with that feeling of energy in your body. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Don't miss our videos. Comment, let me know how you enjoyed the practice. And we will see you next time. I'm David with Body and Brain. Take care.